but I'm not looking for praise. I'm, I'm married to the process. So whether you clap or not, I'm mm. going to do. <laughs> I'm going to do what I'm called yeah. to do. <laughs> Either way, the, you, the praise isn't for you. You're just the vessel. Keep it a buck. I grew up without a father, so I'm I'm used to not getting claps. Talk to us. A lot of times we get told, you know. Um, got to have accountability, right? You got to have people there or whatever. But how does somebody in a practical way go on building a team? Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, well, that's one thing I've, I've enjoyed. Like, because I know having the right people around you will either put a fire in you or they'll snuff the fire out. So for me, I'm, I'm just very observant. I pay attention to everybody. I see what they're doing and how they're living their own life, right? And for me, that actually is, I'm, I'm easily inspired about people who do good things, right? So when I'm looking at people and I'm around and I see the way that they treat other people or when we go out to eat, I see the way they treat the people at the waiter. I just bring them close. Yeah. And, and I'm mm. up for them. I have no hidden motive. Like I, my mentor now, he know exactly why I, I asked him to be my mentor. It's like, man, I want to be better. I want to, I want to be able to, listen more when i'm in uh conversations right um and yeah. with my manager i told you know i told him man i want to be able to feel like a human when i'm on the road right but this mm. my manager nobody passes better than him so i'm paying attention to but this before you even focus on build a team this starts with an, a, a key awareness of who you have around you if you got yeah. people that that's sucking life out of you there's no good about building a team because you're just bringing leeches closer, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but, you know, it starts with a key awareness of who who are around you. Because for me, when I I always been a, let's get it done, let's get it done, let's get it done, let's get it done. But then I start yeah. bringing people around me who are smarter than me and who are faster than me and who are more generous mm -hmm. than me. And I start to see the ROI of having people around me. Like, man, it don't take a, it don't take a lot for you to put two and two together. So for me, it's just like, I don't want to be the person with all of the answers. And that opened the door for me to build great teams because people want to feel valued. And if, if they come around yeah. me championing them, nobody's going to get up and leave that table and say, man, you, you celebrate me too much. That, that's not going to happen. <laughs> you, you, you're too grateful for me. That's never going to happen. But that's one thing that I'm grateful for. That's the way that's another conviction of mine is like, I want to celebrate people. So yeah. That's great to, to give them the flowers now, right? So that, that's, that's another way that we would say something like that. And when you, when you give it right, um, right. You're encouraging them, you're edifying them, right. You're building it up. Um, but, uh, would you agree also internally for you? It's, it's humbling yourself too. Oh yeah. So, um, you're, you're doing that for others when you receive praise, Right. When you see, receive praise, because, again, kind of like the whole, you know, taking on the burden thing because you're in front of people. Um, we're also we're, we're not meant to be worshipped. Right. We're not meant yeah. to be worshipped. That's why every time you got somebody who's top dog, this, that and the other, whatever, and they let it go to their head. There's always some kind of fallout. There's always something wrong because, again, we weren't meant to be worshipped. Yeah. However, at the same time, too, knowing how much you bless others when you are grateful and, sh and share your flowers to them now. What is it like for you, though, when you're receiving it? Like, are you able to just, like, receive it and just, you know, be like, hey, thank you or whatever? Um, or do you try to, like, push it off? Like, how, how do you work on that when somebody's trying to praise you? Well, so I have come to learn to – I've been on the opposite side of, like, letting people – not on my team, but just, like – because I, I get to be around some talented people, and some people really struggle with receiving that. Like, oh, mm -hmm. no, and it, no, no, man, no. And I know how I yeah. feel. Like, no, nah, bro, you work hard. Like, I see you stay up at 2 a.m. editing videos. Like, bro, th th these flowers are okay. And when I mm. see the response and that weirdness of it, I, I just, again, me being aware, I'm like, man, if I make other people feel this way and they're genuine, man, just accept it and keep going. I don't stop for that or, or I'm not fishing for it. So when people give it to me, I, I take it as genuine, but I'm not looking for praise I'm, I'm married to the process so whether you clap or not i'm mm. gonna do <laughs> i'm gonna do what i'm called yeah. to do <laughs> either way right so i've learned to um just let people celebrate you man because you again you never know when you entertain an angels you might get up there and say something that god is speaking to them and breaking change through them but because of mm. your obedience obedience they come and say hey man thank you so much for listening to the lord man x y and z and then you start to undermine everything god did by no no man that wasn't but it's mm. like working through you like 
the, you, the praise isn't for you. You're just the vessel. It's going up. Wow, that's good, bro. That's a great, whoo, kind of convicted. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> just, just, just to give it a buck, kind of. <laughs> uh kind of convicted uh, it's weird so like okay so you you know you're talking about like hey you know you don't you don't fish for it so uh, i'm just gonna just keep it a buck because we keep everything transparent here sure. um there there are a lot of times where i really i generally don't necessarily want the praise or accolade you know or, or i'm sorry yeah any kind of any kind of recognition in that sense uh, one of my favorite lines when people are like oh you know hey we could put you here but people won't be able to see you and as a dj i'm always like that's okay as a dj i don't need to be seen i just need to be heard um yeah. and so I, I try to keep that because i know within myself i know how quickly i can become that person who's kind of fishing where it's like almost in a way where i get so used to telling people like oh no hey it's okay it's okay you don't have to and then all of a sudden when they when they actually stop when it stops happening all of a sudden i'm like okay wait a minute you didn't have to stop i was just saying you know in in that moment so um do you do you okay so even though you just shared your heart like just just to again be transparent like do you ever kind of struggle with that like um slowly starting to get to you or do you feel like you have enough checks and balances kind of in your life uh that you're able to uh, that you're in a, that you're in a good healthy place yeah so i'm a, i'm gonna be this is gonna sound super harsh but man, i'm gonna be just keep it a buck i grew up without mm -hmm. a father so i'm i'm used to not getting claps I used to be on the mm. side of football games and I used to watch Brad and I used to watch Timothy and I used to watch Clark look back and their dad is going crazy. And I used to look back in the stands and nobody wow. that this is me in the sixth grade, the seventh grade. So my yeah. mind was, let me just get better at tackles. Let me get better at interceptions. Let me get better mm. at running the ball, whether people clap or not. And that has been my motto, but because I focus on, just doing what I'm supposed to do as a football player, as the, the analogy, whatever mm -hmm. comes with that comes with it. But mm. that's not really a thing for me. But also, too, so I, I, just so y'all don't think that, oh, man, he's just over Christian or he's just over hope. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, also have Super wife, I also have a wife who don't mind telling me the truth. So before making hey. it public, she's already done chopped it up and screwed it up and spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, shout out, shout out to YV. Shout out to YV and hold it down. Shout out to all the wives in the world who aren't afraid to be vocal and check you real quick <laughs> on that. Hey, but that's real, man. That's real. We 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 definitely gotta have that. If it, you know, uh if it's not a spouse, have somebody real, right? Have somebody yeah. real in your life. Um, of, of course, that's where, again, that's where the discipleship comes from, the men, you know, mentorship. Make sure that you have somebody that's over you and um one thing that I've uh, that I've seen in other interviews and, and and talking you know to different people and different podcasts and stuff, um, a lot of a lot of people who tend to be in certain higher roles or whatever, uh, they said that they actually try to keep somebody outside of the circuit uh, the circle that they are. So, for instance, if they're into music and everything else, they try to intentionally have somebody who's on the outside of those things who can't get to a point where they're trying to potentially want something or turn into a yes man or whatever because they they have nothing to gain from it like would you agree that that's something that is also helpful as well so my wife humbles me a lot um but my my mentor humbles me a lot as well because he's not in music he has no reference i mean he sees my clips and stuff on instagram but he really mm. has no reference to what goes on like with me when i sit down with him whatever i'm talking about or whatever like yo so we're working on this we're gonna drop another album we there's no shock value he he responds with data and he's super critical and it, it forces wow. me to think in a different way so I, I i love it because he keeps me account accountable there's no fluff there's really no dreaming with him he's like hey man why why be let's operate in black and white let's operate in truth and false let's operate so he remove a lot of those elements where you know delusion can take place but but yeah. i'm grateful for my mentor because he i tell my wife all the time he's opened my mind in so many ways but it's always come from hey man so we got this many streams and we're trying to do this he's like yeah man uh okay but how are you gonna do this and whatever that this is is so much further out than where we are and it just it keeps me in a humbling spot where it's like dang in, in 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 our space this is like big but to him it's like yeah. no you need to figure out go back to god right and you need to dream yeah. big. dang he I, I, 
how do you respond to that? <laughs> hey, if you liked any of this content and you found some value in it, make sure that you like, subscribe, and of course, share it. Also, if you're interested in some more, go ahead and check out these videos. Till next time, grace and peace. Adios. Thank you.